Hey there, bug explorers! Are you ready for a bug safari adventure? I'm your guide, Benny the Bug Explorer, and today we're diving into the fascinating world of bugs. Before we go on our bug safari, let's learn some bug basics. Bugs come in all shapes and sizes, and they play important roles in our ecosystem. Some bugs are pollinators, some are decomposers, and others are just plain interesting. We make our way into the bug world. Wow, look, ants! Let's spell it. A-N-T-S. Good job! Compared to their size, ants can carry objects many times their own body weight. Some ants can carry up to 50 times their body weight. They're super strong. Did you notice ants are always working in a group together? That's because ants live in a highly organized colonies with different members. Some are workers, soldiers, and queens. Ants play a big role in ecosystem. An ecosystem is when animals and their environment work together to make everything work well and healthy. Ants help in keeping the soil healthy, help scatter seeds, and controlling populations of other insects. Let's look at our next bug. Ladybugs. They come in a variety of colors like yellow, orange, and even pink ladybugs but the most common is the red and black ones. Ladybugs help in gardens by feeding on bad pests that harm plants. In the winter, they have a big sleep together and sleep during the winter. Next up are the bees. Let's spell it. B-E-E-S. Bees are very important in our ecosystem. They are essential pollinators, very important in the reproduction of many flowering plants. They transfer pollen. Pollen is like fine powder in the flowers. They transfer from one flower to another so that plants can produce fruits, vegetables, and seeds. Without bees, we wouldn't have any fruits or vegetables to eat. Bees also go back to their hive. That's a place where bees live. They use nectar from the flowers to mix and get honey. Honey is so sweet and delicious. Have you ever had honey? It tastes good. It's also used to sweeten our foods and some medicine. Next cool bug is the grasshopper. Let's spell it. G-R-A-S-S-H-O-P-P-E-R. -S -S Great job! Have you ever seen a grasshopper in your yard or in the park? Grasshoppers have strong legs that they use to jump long distances allowing them to escape other bugs or reach other places to eat. Do you know where the grasshopper's ears are? In their front legs. These ears can hear when other bugs are coming and they jump away. Next bug I see is the beetle. Let's spell it. B-E-E-T-L-E. -E -E. Good job. Beetles are the largest group of insects. There are over 400,000 kinds of beetles. You can find beetles in almost every land on Earth. They come in all kinds of shapes, sizes, and colors. They have a hard outer shell called an exoskeleton, providing protection from other bugs and animals. Have you ever dug through your dirt and found our, our next bug friend, the earthworm? Let's spell it. E-A-R-T-H-W-O-R-M. Great job. Earthworms are very important for healthy soil. They dig through the earth, creating tunnels that allow water and air to reach plant roots. Earthworms breathe through their skin, which needs to stay moist to absorb oxygen. Earthworms are cool. Next up is the caterpillar. Caterpillars are eating machines. They have powerful jaws and are always hungry, eating lots of leaves to make them grow before they become butterflies or moths. 
Some caterpillars have camouflage to protect themselves from other animals. They can look like twigs or leaves, making them hard to find. Now one of the prettiest bugs, the butterfly. Let's spell it. B-U-T-T-E-R-F-L-Y. Nice job. Butterflies go through changes called a metamorphosis. They start as eggs, then hatch into caterpillars. The caterpillars eat and eat until one day, when they're nice and big, it stops eating and hangs upside down from a leaf or branch and spins a cocoon around it, which turns into a chrysalis. Then it transforms into a butterfly and comes out of the cocoon. Almost like magic. Aren't bugs cool? Did you know butterflies taste with their feet? When they land on the plant, they can tell if it's good to lay their eggs or to eat nectar. Remember, bees collect nectar also to make honey. Looks like butterflies have a sweet tooth, like me. Now, let's eat a spider. Let's spell it. S-P-I-D-E-R. Great job. There are lots of different spiders in the world. They come in different sizes and shapes. All spiders have eight legs. Spiders live in almost all the lands of the earth. Spiders make cool webs to trap other bugs. They also make silk. They have eight eyes and they have blue blood. That's interesting. Now for the coolest bug, the firefly. Let's spell it. F-I-R-E-F-L-Y. Great job. Fireflies produce light inside their body. They use this light to talk to other fireflies. Fireflies are not really flies. They're considered beetles. When there are babies, they also glow, and we call them glowworms. You can find fireflies almost anywhere in the world. Well, bug explorers, that is the end of our bug safari adventure. I hope you had a buzzing good time exploring the fascinating world of bugs with me. Remember, bugs are incredible creatures that we should treat nice and protect. If we didn't have bugs, we wouldn't be able to live on Earth. Until next time, keep exploring and enjoy the bug-tastic wonders of nature. Remember to like and subscribe to Me Bear TV. Bye, bug explorers.